of action. All right, day whatever, <laughs> day something, I don't know. On our way to the Rio for day two of the PLO bounty. We've got one bounty. I mean, we late regged, right? So, uh, you know, obviously in bounty terms, you wanna show up on time, but we were kind of busy with the, the last 50. Um, on the schedule today was just that, you know, this is all we're gonna focus on. They do have this cool event, a unique event, but we wouldn't even probably be playing it either way. It's a $1,500 bracelet winner only. So to play this event, you have to be a bracelet winner. We are, but uh, with even, you know, regardless of what happened today, we would not be playing that one because there's the 100K the day after that, um, which we would definitely have to prioritize. Um, so, yeah, so, and it also doesn't count for player of the year race. Not that that's like, you know, the only motivation right now. So. Here's what I'm looking at. I'm in the top 20 or whatever like that, even though we're stuck money because, you know, the high roller packages you've seen, we haven't hit any in those. Um, but uh, we're not, you know, we're not, first of all, I, you know, I, I sold you guys little pieces, so I didn't do foolish things with my money, which means like, you know, rebuy like crazy or, um, you know, double dip and triple dip and different events like that. And, you know, a lot of the other guys that are, you know, in the hunt right now, they're doing that. Like you'll see Dan Zach, you know, he played the one drop. And then he went and played the, the bounty, the one that I'm in, he cashed, he bagged in that. Then he went to go play the 3K No Limit Hole. So he's got two bags going into today. Um, and you know, that increases his chances to, you know, double cash and all that kind of stuff and uh, whatnot. But per event, you know, you, you obviously hurt yourself by anting off chips and not being at the table. And it's just something that I feel kind of gross about and like it's too much. So I don't do that. A lot of the other guys are gonna do that. Um, the interesting part is obviously, if, if we don't win another event in the next, you know, like five or six, which there's not that many left, um, then that would affect our decision to go to Europe and chase the thing. Like, I don't really like the idea that, you know, to win player of the year, you have to go to Rosvedov or whatever to, to finish it off. I understand why they do it, because they want, you know, people there. But uh, unless I'm like really, really, really in the hunt, you know, like amongst the top five or 10, then uh, I'm, I'm just gonna stay home and watch the Golden Knights play, you know, because uh, I'm really looking forward to after the World Series is the fact that my travel schedule is like I won't be going to Barcelona I won't be going to Bahamas anymore for obvious reasons um, and I just overall don't I'm not going to be going to that you know one million dollar buy-in in, in London or whatnot so we'll be spending a lot of time at home you know the main focus is going to be getting back in shape because I've really like you know it really took a uh, massive hit to uh, my overall physical health and body just this grind um, so yeah, but that's, I'm not worried about it because I know once I put my mind to it, I, you know, I'll go hard and get on the diet exercise program for a solid month and, and get lean and sexy and, you know, all that stuff. So right now, focus is uh, simple. Omaha, uh, as I mentioned last night, you know, we have half average approximately or a little more maybe, but that's plenty. I mean, because it's just so many chips. Um, we can still see a lot of flops. The blinds are 816. Opens will be to about 4K. We've got 65K. Uh, we can see a lot of flops still um, for races or limps and, uh, you know, decide if we're going to, you know, continue with it and play a big pot based on, you know, the strength of our hand and whatnot. So plan is, uh, again, not to focus on, you know, bounties and all that stuff. I realize from a financial perspective, that's the way to play these things, but I don't do that for the $500 bounties. I, I try to play to just win the first prize. And that's what we're gonna do here today. So good luck us. Alrighty, there are 194 players. 170 will make the money. It is a bounty, so the amount you get is less than the buy-in. It's like 1,400 on a 15. Uh, we're doing good. We're up to 215,000. Started with 60. Uh, had a lucky hand where, oops, excuse me. I had a lucky hand where I called a raise with four, five, six, seven with the five, six of hearts. Pretty strong hand. I like the, I like those rundowns. And uh, it's like four or five ways or whatever. Comes king seven three with the seven three of hearts. So I have a straight flush draw, a pair of sevens, you know, and the wrap in the middle. The bad guy raises me. Uh, I end up getting it in on the turn with him. And uh, he had me in bad shape. He had king queen ten ten with hearts. So he had, so I needed to catch any, uh, well, almost like basically. Oh, Jesus. 
You all right, Brad? <laughs> oh my God, I just knocked this guy in the head. <laughs> Brutal. What the hell is he doing? I don't understand. Four, five, six, seven, or a heart. Hit the four of diamond. That's not, you know, that's the straight flush heart. And uh, so the river was a four, huh? Oh, of course. <laughs> uh, so uh, yeah, so we hit the four and uh, started the cruise on our way up to 213. Average stack should be about 140. Buff, buff, the bubble is officially busted. Yeah, Thanks, bubble. yours truly. Uh, it was me who did it here in a big spot. Yeah, I did it. Right? Raise the button with the uh, Do 7 Jack 9 double suited. Woo -wee. Big blind re raised pot. We call. Comes Jack 7 3. Check bet half pot. Turn to Jack. Yeah, yeah. Diamonds. Check about 20K. Called. River was the three of five diamonds. He made the nuts flush. He check called it all with uh, get a big hand. Ace, King, King. With diamonds or whatever so yeah so far so good and we got these bounty thingies three of them so far okay another level yeah. they're still in there what are you doing you're doing some vlogging yeah i got Look some youtube you. going on go youtube it's yay bad, mate you work very hard in the summer cheers but, um, bud all right on a week and it's killed me <laughs> okay so we've got about 170,000 average 212 um you know scrapping plo it's plenty. I mean, the blinds are only two and four thousand. Doing good. We've got a Maria Ho sighting. So look, look where all the celebs hide. They hide in the back in hallways. The hallway. Here we hey, are. Pete, are you working hard? Yes. What are you doing right now? What are you I'm playing? I'm uh, PLO. You know, always on the ground. Well, there, uh, I know. Look at this guy. He's there was one year when we had a trailer. That was a long time ago. Did you? Are you were in, our, were you in the trailer one year. Do you remember I'm poker farming? We hid you in there. Poker farming? Yeah. No, we had a poker farm. We hid you in. Poker farm. You went hiding in the trailer 10 years ago. God, I'll 10 years ago. YouTube uh, yeah. I drink too much. I don't remember. He doesn't remember. <laughs> he doesn't believe me. Okay. So anyway. We're, we're doing good, about 130 players left. Scrappy, scrappy. Pound, pound. Do, do the thing, raise the pots, bet the hand. It's all that, yeah. All right, we, uh, we ran it up a little bit. We're just right before the break here, we're going on dinner break for an hour. In a weird mood today. Slightly, I don't know, weird energy. It's kind of like calm, different. What's up? What's up, children? Um, so, I don't know, weird energy. Huh? You ate your apple jacks or your jacks? I, did, I didn't eat the jacks, but I thought about it. <laughs> All right, I'm doing the vlog now. Yeah, you're killing yeah. it. Yeah. See, they just walk right up He's like this. killing it. I'm man. doing TV, man. I, this is a big production. Oh, I know. Look I, at you. I, you're going to have to cut. Oh, and now restart. I'm just, I'm just messing with you. Thanks, brother. <laughs> See ya. Stop, Daniel. Yeah. So, I anyway. What I know, right? What was I saying, man? All right, so I do have a hand that was interesting. I have 170,000. There's 95 players left. Blinds are going to be going 3 6 after the hour dinner break. Um. Weird, oh yeah, well, I had weird energy all day already, and then this whole thing happened with, uh, like, the G, the GOAT, the best poker commentator that's ever done it, by far. Like, everyone agrees Nick Shulman is the GOAT. There was some Twitter drama over uh, what exactly happened, because he put out a tweet, he was pretty, pretty upset, something to the effect of, uh, you know, he was removed. Coincidentally, it said he was removed for, you know, something, like, some, he made a comment about the main event not being the best way to learn how to play, duh. It's like not even controversial. Um, and then there was a lot of speculation based off of his tweet that, you know, they removed him for making this comment, which I was like, what the hell? So I spoke to the higher ups. That's not what happened according to them, like in terms of what happened. So the, the thinking, and I can't remember if I get this right, but like they screwed up by not telling Nick ahead of time that he wasn't doing day five or whatever because they had a continuity issue with the live with the tape edit shows where Norman Lawn do that, so they needed to be on there. And I guess you know justifiably because no one told Nick, you know, and he expected to be doing it, that wow. he, you know he was justifiably upset, right? Which is which is fair. Now it'll all come out, but like what's annoying is I simply you know tweet out the information that I just got and a whole bunch of people calling me names and shit like that. I'm like I'm don't shoot the messenger. I don't wanna, I, sometimes on Twitter I just want to like. Or on, on comedy, you just want to like punch people in the face, especially right now when you're high stressed. You know, been playing every day, and then you got some ass hats shooting the messenger. All I'm doing is saying, listen, this is what they told me. They told me it had nothing to do with the comments. In fact, in fact, 
They want to find a way to have him do it anyway, even though there was a scheduling thing. They're trying, they were trying to work on that, not because of the outburst and because of that stuff, but because Nick's the best. I mean, honestly, Dan Smith, everyone's, you know, echoing the same sentiment. He is the best commentator by far. Um, and, uh, you know, Dan Smith said he doesn't have a second favorite. Neither do I. You know, and it's, it's like I listen when Nick is, is on there. I mute it a lot of the other times because I'm just like, uh, you know, it doesn't add nothing to the broadcast. Maybe but with Nick, it's really interesting. Great flow, whatever. But anyways, why am I ranting about this stuff? I'm going to tell you about the hand. Give me one second. All right, to the hand. All right, now that I'm settled in. So we're playing Palom in Omaha. Palom in Omaha, hand breakdown. Here we come. The blinds are uh, 2,500, 5,000. I pick up the ace king of clubs, jack 10 of hearts. Very strong open. I open to 12K. Uh, very loose, aggressive uh, Asian player on my left calls. The small blind completes, and Peter Costa uh, calls as well. So 48K in the pot. Comes jack of diamonds, nine of hearts, five of diamonds, right? So we have top pair, a gut shot, backdoor jack high flush draw. Um, it's an okay flop. Not great because the diamonds are there and we don't have any. Checked, check. I decided to check the flop. The Asian player on my left, that's pot, 48K. Folds, the small blind fold. Now, Peter Cost in the big blind goes in the tank for quite a while. So that means he's got a hand. He's either got some sort of two pair hand or he's got a lot of the draw outs, right? Where he's drawn us some diamond flush or, you know, gut straights and all that kind of stuff. He thinks for a long time it folds. And it's up to me and I have about uh, 230 to start the hand. So, I mean, all options are on the table, right? I could just fold here and be like, whatever, with, with my hand. I could call see a card and then maybe jam or check fold or I can check raise the flop and just get it in which seems like the worst of the options with a hand I mean I have a good hand but it's way it's not strong enough getting two to one though feels like it's worth appeal I do call turns a deuce of clubs and here's where I went in the tank here because uh I felt like that's obviously if, if he's on a draw that's a brick right I thought about jamming the turn and you know putting pressure on him but I don't think he's folding any draw that he bet pot with so I'm just going to be gambling here where may, at best case scenario, I'm like, you know, 60%. Worst case is I get it in, he's got some sort of set and I'm just, you know, dead to a queen or something like that. Like he has a set of fives or nines or even jack nine, you know, I still have, I have a good amount of outs against jack nine, but still. So I elect to, instead of jamming, I check, he jams now. So now at this point, um, you know, it's, it's tough. It's a really tough spot. Um, I don't feel like I have an out, enough outs and strong enough hand to call, so I mucked the hand on the turn. Um, and then Peter said that he folded two pair. And I was like, and another guy said he had pocket nines. I'm like, what the hell does this guy have then, damn it? So I don't know. Might have got bluffed off the hand, but so what? You know, his bluff probably looks like something like queen, ten, and diamonds. So he has, you know, a ton of cards. So, yeah, sometimes you got to play a little cautious in these spots. Feeling good about the way we're playing. Weird mood, as I said. I don't know. Weird energy today. But, uh, yeah. Let's, um, yeah, let's get a nap in. Maybe we'll do that. Young champions do on break when they're down day five in the main event. I think he's still in. You still in? Yeah, yeah. Keep going, my man. How much you got? Uh, four million. Four million. This is the gentleman that bluffed us on day one and he took our chips and <laughs> is doing good with it. Good luck, <laughs> man. Go Thanks. get him. Okay, he's been goofy. I don't know. We're still in. 61 players left. Uh, I just was all. What's up, Dan? How you doing? Yeah, buddy. All right, Dan Zach over there in contention, player of the year. Um, I just had been like a guy doubled with aces against uh, ace queen jack 10. So I was up to like 250 and then just whittle away, whittle away, missing flops here and there, blah, 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 splashy, splashy. Um, find myself with 54K, get it in with a uh, pretty bad hand, but it was double suited, jack 10, six deuce, double suited against ace king queen seven. So. We won that one with six on the river, and now we're back to, what is that? 108 plus 12, 120,000, and we're playing 5,000, 10,000. So I got 12 bigs, and it's PLO. Just hanging around, hanging around. Um, and this is the last break of the night, so we got two more hours left to uh, do a little spinning, a little spinning upward. Let's do that. Gentleman a little while ago that said he was from South Africa, had all the things. This is not the gentleman. No. No. He did not have monthly allowance. But so, when he came here to play in his tournament, tell him what happened. So this this guy at my table insisted yeah. on that South African kid who, who received monthly allowance. Who was Asian. 
who is also Asian. Right. And so that's I, why, yeah. We argue a little bit. I say, I says no, but like after a while, I'm like, if I can make his day, he's an old, old man also, right? Like, I'll make his day. So you pretend so to be someone else. Yeah, you want a picture? Yeah, my family gives me monthly allowance. <laughs> There you go. Poker and I lose all the time. There you go. Owning it. I love it. <laughs> this is, oh, well, I'm not out yet, but look, there's, there's a big pot. He called, he no called, he called, he called, he called pre flop for my 30K, three big blinds. Let's see what we got there. That's the flop. I can't say anything because I don't want to cheat, but oh, baby. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> good game, dude. Pot. <laughs> no, he said, good game, dude. Pot. <laughs> yeah, we might have a problem. Uh, he's still in that. Good game, dude. In that. Okay, we got one guy gone. How much is that? Uh oh. <laughs> huh? <laughs> All right, so you got nothing, right? I have a set. What does he have? A set, big deal, whatever. I have a flush. Yeah, you're done. Clubs. Yeah. You're done. Club flush. <laughs> okay, we're in a little bit of trouble right now, but we need, we definitely need a key turn card, otherwise it's over. That's the one. Oh baby, come on. Royal. Yeah! Oh, oh baby, we have life. He wanted to be in the vlog so bad too. He said it. He's like, oh, I wanted to be that. <laughs> Look at this hand. All right, bring the chippies to he's Papa. Just, he's just the best with the yellow. All don't know is the hand before I put in 90k pre-flop and then folded for 30k on the flop. What the, what Some the old fuck? school Phil Helm, you Scotty <laughs> Wind tricks right here. And uh, then we got five way action. So we have uh, back to 150. Let's go. And the hand that I folded, I did not have any outs. I, knew, I mean, I think I might have had two. He said I might have had two outs. So sick full. Yeah. My river game is strong. So just look, my river game is strong. Look at that, babies. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's like 350K. We had 30. Oh, we folded. We had, I had, I had 120. I folded, I put 30 in, and uh, so now, check this out. The guy has eight, nine, 10, queen over there, poor guy. Comes king, jack, deuce, we have ace, ace, seven, four, because you know, we play the nuts. And uh, somehow, he didn't hit. So, all of a sudden. It's not fair. It's not <laughs> fair, Oh, You made me six hands in a row before that, it's fine. <laughs> Bluff me, bet me, all that kind of stuff. All right, keep on trucking. Good, we had this <laughs> silly boy raise the flop with three kings. Yeah. We got it all in on the turn. The silly boy bet 10,000. To get you to do that! <laughs> yeah, so. And then he did that, and then he made a full house in the I river, think so. a good player would uh, raise the nut, would bet 10,000 for taking the nut. <laughs> so in other words, I fooled you perfectly. Gave me the opinion, gave me the opinion. <laughs> This is what a trap is called, Jeffrey. But you did good to get out of it. You did well. You did well. With a whole you sigh on the turn. With a great hand. You trapped with a great hand. Two hearts on the board, yes. Great trap. It worked. Bravo, bravo. All right, we're back down to this again. Did we win? You win. Yeah, yeah. All right, back in action. <laughs> <laughs> All right, from 17K back to whatever the hell we just got now. Hard, just hard the ice crazy. All right, having some fun, back in action. This is wild. Move me over to this table over here. And you know what I've been doing? Folding. I don't know why. I don't know why folding some hands. Like, every time I look, I'm like, oh, I would have won. I would have won. I would have won. We're sitting here with this. What's that? How many big ones? Four bigs? I don't know. It's plenty, but still. When I get ace, ace, king, queen, double suited, I swear I'm playing. I don't even care. I'm here to gamble, though. Yeah, I'm a gamble. I don't care. But you're not going to get me to fold that because we're going to make the nuts. Go ahead. It's fine. He's silly with pair of kings and all those chips. Come on. That's a real good hand there in PLO. That's the hand I was waiting for. All right. Back in action. All right, with 10 minutes to go in the night, the dealer announces a random number of hands. He picked five, which is perfect, because with a button, you get five hands to look at uh, something. We don't have to pay a big blind if nobody goes broke, which is a good situation. We do have 12 big blinds, which feels like a gazillion. It isn't. With about 120K, average is 642. Eh, who cares? Average from average, it's PLO. Uh, we've really gone into massive nip mode, um, waiting for like the nuts, but um, hey man, I'll just chip in a chair. You know, this has been a weird freaking roller weird day, but uh, I, yeah, I mean, it's yeah, yeah, weird day, very weird day, Woo. weird vibes. I'm going heebie jeebies in the universe. Okay, people, we went through the five hands, and of course, nitty mcnitty, PLO nitty, you know, we folded everyone, so we're sitting on 
120,000. We've locked up four bounties already. We're in for 3,000. We're, we're in 13,500 so far in the cash. Making money for that low roller package. Uh, we're gonna restart at noon and uh, try to spin it up. But uh, this, like I said, man, been a weird day. Thanks for joining me, everybody, on this journey for the third year in a row. Got my highs, my lows. Right now, I don't even know where I'm at. Just kind of somewhere, you know, along the way. But uh, just keep plugging forward, and we will see you tomorrow.